Hello, happy Oil Wise Wednesday. Welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. I am Melissa with Mel's Oil Wise, um, and we are here to help you be your happiest and healthiest you. So um, today we're gonna chat about a few things. Super excited to tell you about Blue Tansy and Cardamom. So those are two oils that, I don't know if you've heard of them, I don't know how often you use them, but let's chat about them and um, help you know how to use them. Help me know how to use them because these are two, hey Tibby, um, did you like my go live at 345? I love that. Um, we So Blue Tansy and Cardamom, they're two that I have, and honestly I don't use a ton. Um, I just don't necessarily think to, and so I'm super excited to uh, remind us of how to use them and what they're good for and how we can just um, you know use them daily into our routine. Um, I also have some exciting things that I want to share with you at the end about another live that we have coming up this weekend, and I'm going to have a special guest, and so I want to tell you just a little sneak peek about that too, so um, stay on to hear that. Also want to let you know that we have classes coming up. If you don't know a lot about oils and want to learn more, um, we have some intro classes coming up. Um, we do Wednesday evenings and then I have a Saturday and a Thursday class each month. Um, and it's Zoom so that you can just hop on, learn more. If you have a friend that um, wants to learn more, invite them um, because when you invite friends, um, and they get started with oils, we give you free oils too. So um, that is a great way to share with your friends to help them um, and we'll help you too. So know that, invite them to classes we have coming up. And um, so let's dig right in. So we're gonna talk about blue tansy first. Tiffy, have you ever used blue tansy or smelled blue tansy? It is very um, memorable, I would say. I think it's very specific. I hope Candace hops on because she, I know that she has used blue tansy. Um, we did a big toe challenge, I think it was called, where you put blue tansy on the bottom of your big toe. Um, and that, it actually, we could like feel the difference. Like we were more um, energized and just like got more done. We were more, um, I think it was like focused. Um, I wish she was on, so hey, she is on. Hey Candace, um, tell me, do you remember all the different things that you felt when you used the blue tansy? Because I remember us chatting about it. Um, I think we felt like more focused and just like we got more done. It was really interesting. So let me tell you what it says here, and I'm not sure that it's going to mention like that specifically. So um, we'll talk about it though. Candace says, I need to try it again, especially for school. Maybe I should do it for the kids. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? We could do a kids big toe challenge. <laughs> That would be so fun. I know that um, when Savannah smells something that's even remotely close to it, she'll say, is that blue tansy? She remembers. Focus and happier. Yes. Thank you so much, Candace. Um, so you're right. We should do that. We could even do like a two-week challenge or something. Wouldn't that be cool? All right. So we're going to talk about blue tansy. So let me give you a couple of things here. Um, it helps reduce the appearance of blemishes. Um, so you can use it topically on your skin. Also provides a soothing sensation when applied to the skin. Um, you can add it to your moisturizer, your cleanser, uh, I say, uh, too much. Um, you can also put it in a, a drop or two in lotion to use as a massage. So let's talk about the things for that. So you can do it, um, topically, right? That's rubbing it on, mix it with a carrier oil to make it go farther and to drive it into the skin. Um, and then you could also use it aromatically, um, I would choose topically. I'll just leave it at that. And I like the toe because I don't love the smell, but I did kind of get used to it and start to like it a little bit more. Apply it at night or you'd look like a smurf. Ooh, yeah, on your face. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, let's do it. Uh, so, blue tansy, I want to tell you what it's in. It's found in balance and it's found in deep blue. And you can kind of smell that like blue. I know it sounds funny that you could smell blue, but it actually kind of smells like blue and the blue tansy and the deep blue. Um, so antihistamine, insect repellent, anti-allergenic, um, so seasonal threat kind of things, um, antifungal, so if you have things, uh, I usually think of fungal being like on your feet, um, so if you have that sort of thing, blue tansy would be good for that, um, and I don't know if I'm allowed to say these other things, so I'm going to try to be very compliant and not say those things. Um, also, what else was I going to tell you? Um, anyways, Blue Tansy is really a neat oil. Um, we used it on, um, I know I kind of mentioned this, but on our big toe, um, and that was like focus and happier. Um, but it's also going to be great for your skin. It's going to be, um, there was a few other things I was going to see if I can mention here. Um, oh, um, head tension was another thing that I thought was interesting. 
um, and tooth discomfort. So I really thought that maybe the next time um, I have head tension, I might try that. Or maybe rub it on the back of my neck. This says into the temples, um, but I think that I would try it on the back of my neck. Um, yes, so amazing things, right? That's blue tansy. Here we go. This is bad boy. And it does, it looks blue. I should just like put it on. Watch this. Oh, that's like a ring. Ooh, look at that. It looks blue. That looks funny, huh? So that is blue tansy. And you can just see we could just like pat that bad boy right in. Uh, it is good to um, dilute oils when you're using them. That's going to help to, like I said, absorb into the skin and... This one I don't mind so much, it's on the side, you're not going to see it, so um, it's just going to look funny like that. I should have just did went with it, huh? That would be funny. Okay, so we're also going to talk about cardamom. Candace, Tippy, do you have cardamom? Do you use cardamom? I was like, I don't really use this that often, but I must say this bottle is about half empty. And I'm going to say that that is the positive way to say about an oil, right? It's half empty uh, or half full. So here we go. Cardamom. I am yelling. I'm sorry. I guess I'm excited. So cardamom, um, what is cardamom for? What are we going to use it for? It is good for digestive support. This specifically says stimulant. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Uh, yes, I'm 10. Antispasmatic, anti-inflammatory, decongestant, expectorant, um, and some words that I don't know what they mean, so I'm not going to say them. Um, ooh, Candace and Tiffy don't have this. All right, so let me tell you some interesting things about cardamom. And why you need it. Let's smell it. Can you smell it vicariously? It, oh, I know. It smells like breathe because dun, 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 it is in breathe and it's in the breathe lozenge. Um, so it actually really does remind me of the breathe smell like that. What you smell in there. Um, one of the main things is cardamom. It's going to blend well with clove, lavender, and Candace's favorite peppermint. Um, and it actually, so you can use it topically. We'll talk about rubbing it in. You can use it aromatically, smelling it. And I mentioned like the expectorant. You can also use this one internally. So you can add it to um, dishes somewhere. It said, what's it gonna say in here? Hold on, I'll tell you what you can add it to. Um, so here we go. First, we're gonna talk about overall gastrointestinal health when taken internally. So you can maintain a healthy gastrointestinal system. Um, again, you can take it internally. You could add it to your water. You could take it in a veggie capsule. Um, there's good ways to get that into your system. And we'll also talk about adding it to food. Um, and internal use can also help soothe your digestive system. So it's one that you could turn to, um, it said it blends well with peppermint, so you can even add those two together to help support your digestive system, right? clear breathing and respiratory health. So it must, um, it's interesting that the properties that I'm hearing are similar to peppermint too. So clear breathing, respiratory health, rub it on your chest, bottoms of the feet. Um, we sometimes like to make our own like salves or something like that. Um, so you could add that to your clear breathing salve. Uh, also, I mentioned that it's in breathe. So hello, that's where we're getting those awesome things that we love about breathe, right? Um, it's also a flavorful spice for cooking and baking. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more because that is super interesting to me. Uh, and this says, um, add to bread. So I, I want to try that. Uh, maybe to like, because I've been doing some homemade bread, add it to one of my loaves of bread and see um, what that does, what that tastes like. Um, smoothies, meats, and salads to enhance food flavor. You can also diffuse or inhale for a sense of openness because of that open airways, open respiratory system. Um, it is going to help with that. Um, and this says through a collaborative and responsible sourcing arrangement, we are able to have significant impact on the lives of local partners, ensuring that those farming communities enjoyed improved livelihoods, right? So this is um, Southeast Asia. Um, it's a traditional Indian sweets and teas for its cool minty aroma and flavor. So you can add it to hot water or your tea too. Uh, I guess that makes sense. You hear of cardamom tea, right? Um, the, let's see, cardamom essential oil is extracted from cardamom seeds grown in Guatemala using the strict um, certified pure therapeutic grade testing standards. Um, so I just love to hear about, uh, as we're helping, um, in communities that don't have the things that we have here in America and helping to build wells um, 
and get clean water sources to help kids get education that they need that they wouldn't typically get um, and that they just pay their farmers and their growers fair wages. That always really touches my heart. And when we do um, convention, we get to hear those um, real life stories about um, people in those communities. It's really, really awesome. So those are the two oils I wanted to talk about. Deep Blue, dun da 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 you need Deep Blue on your big toe. Candace and I are gonna come up with a challenge and do it with our kiddos. I think that would be fun. Um, and then cardamom, which I think I need to try with some bread and stuff and look up some recipes and see how other people are using it. I love that. So there's a few more things I want to tell you about. I also wanted to talk about the doTERRA protein. Brand new, Tiffany, Candice, have either of you seen some information about the protein powder? I am super excited to try it. I ordered some. Um, it is going to be here sometime. Um, so I got the whey protein. There's going to be chocolate and vanilla whey protein and then also vegan protein. So we're going to kind of uh, focus on the whey protein today. Um, I just wanted to, just a few like real quick things. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to let y'all try it. Um, I wish that things with things were different in our world right now that we could just all y'all could, could just come over and we could just have a smoothie party and, um, try different, um, recipes and adding different oils and berries and peanut butter and I don't think Candace likes peanut butter but um you know whatever we like that we could just try different recipes I think that would be so fun um yes Candace the whey protein comes in chocolate and vanilla um so that is exciting and it's got 21 grams of protein um so that's going to be good for our bodies help keep us full um it has no, zero added sugars. So I thought that that was super interesting. Um, what it has in sugar is um, like monk fruit, things like that, that are gonna give it just a little bit of a sweeter taste. Uh, so I think that that is exciting. It has, here it says it has, um, the vanilla has 10 grams of carbs, the chocolate has 12 grams of carbs. Uh, so I know that some of my friends who are, um, either doing keto or kind of trying to um, just be low on their carbs are excited about using this. Um, okay, so there were some other things I was gonna say, but I didn't write them down, so there you have it. That's the, some of the interesting things there. Oh, you know what, I bet it's here. Give me one, uno, un momento, por favor. We also have um, greens and fiber. Uh, the fiber is not gonna taste like normal icky, yucky fiber. It um, has lemon in it, which also helps with the fiber um, uh, it helps your digestive system, excuse me. Sorry, I was looking for what I was looking for, but it's not right there, so that's okay. So the other thing I want to tell you about, super exciting, um, is I'm going to start doing a live a couple of times a month, and we're going to have special guests come on to give us some tips about different um, kind of lifestyle kind of things. So it's not just going to be about essential oils. It's going to be just about um, maybe healthy living, um, maybe just tips for like a busy mom or busy person, um, how to fit different things into our lives. So I'm super excited. So we have a special guest. Um, our first one is going to be this Saturday. I don't have a time. We didn't narrow down a time yet, but I will um, post it on um, the Facebook page so you can come on live and um, maybe we'll do a little bit of Q&A and you can ask questions. Um, I think I'll let a little slip here and say there's going to be a realtor. So we're going to get, you know, a little bit of a different perspective. We'll get to know some different people. Um, I'm super excited. I think it's going to be so fun. So that's going to be, our first one is going to be this Saturday. I have some other people and things lined up. Um, maybe we'll do a giveaway, you know, so if you hop on, um, it'll be a great thing to share with your friends um, and just help support others in our community. So uh, I'm super excited about that. That's going to be Saturday. Both of you, Tiffany, Candace, I expect you both to be on. I'll let you know what time. If you're watching the replay, please comment replay. Let us know that you are catching it. Tell us what you learned, something new about blue tansy or cardamom. Um, and as always, I'd love to hear what um, what's helpful to you. Are you enjoying going through these oils that you maybe don't have or don't use? Um, are there other tips and things that would be helpful for you? Um, do we need to take it back a little bit and talk more about, um, you know, how to use oils? Um, do you want diffuser recipes? I would love to help you um, know how to use your oils best and share with others. So thank you when you share this video. That means so much to me. Um, I know you can't do that every time, but I just, um, I so appreciate that you are supporting me. Um, and... 
that is it for your Oil Wise Wednesday. Um, come back Saturday, check with us, and um, we just want to help you be your happiest, healthiest you.